pussy babies. God morgon. God morgon. Ska vi skaka lite liv i dig? Ska vi skaka lite liv i dig? God morgon. God morgon till dig. We went to bed yesterday with not a lot of snow on the ground and woke up to a light sprinkle of fresh snow. I have a feeling we will be getting lots more soon, which is just in time to start our winter. The days are growing darker now, which is especially noticeable in the mornings. At 9 a.m. it's still dusky and blue. The first thing Grim does in the morning is go outside. He wants to check out the surroundings, maybe there's a reindeer or fox to bark at, which is also the reason why he is on a rope. First of all, he would run away and explore if he wasn't. And also we don't want him to disturb the wildlife around us. While he hangs out outside, I prepare his breakfast, which is his dry food with some warm water in it. We are limited to the food options sold at the vet's office, so we don't have a lot of choice regarding that. But for his dinner, we usually add some extra stuff to pack in some more vitamins. But for breakfast, he likes it plain. Do you cost? As 
as it gets darker, Grim is going to be getting more confused by the day. He very much relies on our guidance regarding meal times and when to sleep, and often at the beginning of Polar Night, he will ask to go out in the middle of the night, which is something he never does otherwise. Which totally makes sense, because how is he supposed to know what time it is? Grim is also a little bit scared of the dark in the beginning, so it takes him a few weeks to get settled and get confident being outside in the darkness on his own. Then he's all good to go and runs around in the darkness fearlessly. In the mornings, we like to have breakfast and chill for a bit before going on a walk. I find it fascinating to see just how much a dog sleeps in a day. Grim literally just got up not even an hour ago and he's already yawning like he's exhausted needing a nap. Grim is a Finnish Laphund, which is an incredible winter breed. They have a double coat that grows so thick that it keeps him warm and down to minus 30 degrees. Right now, he is a little bit late with his winter coat and is still running around like it's summer, but we can see a huge change in the color of his fur, so we know that it's coming. In summer, he is super light, like last year he was almost white. And in winter, it's a variation of deep browns against his overall beige coat. for one hour at this point. <laughs> one hour, darling. It's a tough life being a lap hunt. It's a tough life. We gotta get out of bed, honey. Grim said he needed a break from being a star in order to do some important work, which is the perfect time for us to present the sponsor of today's video, which is NordVPN. Head to nordvpn.com slash Cecilia to grab the exclusive deal. Last week we were in Northern Norway, and when we travel, a VPN is without a doubt one of our most important tools. Using a public Wi-Fi like we're doing here can actually be quite dangerous. Wi-Fi networks can be compromised, making it super easy for a hacker on the same network to read and steal your personal data like passwords and bank information. The solution to this is simple. Encrypt your online traffic with a VPN at all times by just the click of a button. It really is super easy. It hides your IP address or location and also encrypts data like passwords and sensitive information. We have an exclusive deal for you guys, so head to nordvpn.com slash Cecilia or click the link in the description to get four months for free on a two-year plan. It is all risk-free with NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee. So Grim says that you can go and try it out, and then if you don't like it, you know, you can just cancel risk-free. So thank you so much to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video, and let's head back. Jag ska gå och byta om. Vänta då. Ge mig en sekund. Grim is scared of our floor, so he never ever walks in this part of the cabin. He can only get to the hallway by being escorted. <laughs> you might think it's something like, oh, it's slippery, but he will walk on these kind of floors in other places without any problems. So it's just too scary at home, okay? But that's fine with us. You do you, Grim. I will escort you around okay. forever if you need me to.
everybody's going on today's walk. Finnish Lapuns have extra fur underneath their paws to keep their feet from freezing. When the weather gets down to around minus 20 degrees Celsius, I put booties on him if we're going for a longer walk, just to make it a little bit more comfortable. It must be such a nice feeling to just run free as a dog. I usually walk all the way there before I let him go because I want to see how many animals there are. If there's, sometimes there can be tons of reindeer like lying here and chilling. We don't want to disturb them. He would straight away be like, hello. <laughs> That's not happening. Oh now he's waiting for me. I come in. But yeah, so I like to let him run free at least going back also he runs every day next to the car with christopher to get a really good workout in and that's also without a leash but this is more free he can do whatever he wants you can go sniff check stuff out but it's also a very safe area but not much can happen you know what i mean like the chances of us running into a polar bear is very little but you know it can always happen that's why i have the rifle with me so wild isn't it today is the most beautiful light i can see that snow is starting to fall you can see it coming down from the mountains which is good we woke up to quite a lot well not a lot but everything is beautiful and covered in a white layer of snow which i love it's gorgeous it also makes everything very quiet but today it's super quiet Vashigood. How many sweets are too many sweets? Do we know? Not when you're this cute. What is that? Oh, do I Wait a minute. You have. Oh my god, I need to take a photo of this. He had quipped. I. Oi, ow. Grim is eight years old now and he has lived with me for four of those years. He was actually my friend's dog from the beginning and I met him when he was around one year old when his then owner Olivia and I worked at Huset together, which was my first job here on Svalbard. 
Grim and I hit it off right away and we had this connection that I've never had with an animal before. I've never owned a dog before, only cats. And there was something about Grim and our connection that just felt unique. I started watching him whenever they went on vacations and as they became our best friends, I spent more time with Grim. At one point, I moved into an apartment with Olivia and Einar and Grim and his dog brother Fenris, living with them for about over a year. When Christopher and I moved out to our cabin, Grim came with us. We had gotten so attached to each other and it would also do wonders for his quite restless soul. He was a very nervous and scared dog when he was little, and I remember how he wouldn't even jump into a car without shaking. He was just so scared of everything. When he moved out to the cabin, we noticed that he really enjoyed being the only dog in the family. It meant that he got all of the attention and didn't have to compete with anyone. We've been watching his confidence grow these last years and he has really become so confident in himself. The love I have for this dog is unlike anything I've experienced. And on his fourth birthday, I was gifted his passport and adoption papers. From that day on, he was officially mine. It was an incredibly selfless act from Olivia and Einar and I will forever thank them for that. They lived in the cabin next door up until last year, which meant that Grim could go and see them all the time, which was really nice. They have now unfortunately sold that cabin and Fenris is living life on the mainland, but we see them whenever they come visit. We have Binna and we have Jasper! Come, hunden, come, come and visa på dig. Du ser bara hej en gång. Och där är det. Åh, fina. Så ja. Absolut så bra. It's a beautiful day. Oh my gosh, so much love here today. It's a beautiful day. There's lots of new snow. So we're gonna... We're gonna stick up my mouth now seven times. Look at... We are gonna enjoy this beautiful day, and of course, Grim and Come the husky on. horse. The husky they need horse. to get some exercise. So, Luta, put some in your gut. Okay, are we ready to go, team? Ready to are we go. Oh, hell, they're good. Sluta. Okay, let's go. Oh, what fun! Is this here for thank you, dear friend? Yeah, let's go on a tour, gang. This is where we begin. 
Light right now is absolutely unreal. Grim, look! He's mad that we're not moving fast enough for him. <laughs> he also has tried to play with Bina and she really doesn't want to. So he's a little bit mad at the moment. But now, Jesper, we're gonna take our dogs. We're gonna go to the Husky Cafe. Yep. Because we need a coffee, we need a raw cake. Let's continue this adventure. And see what town looks like. I know you can't hang out, guys. I'm sorry. Coffee. Cheers. Nice. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Sorry. sorry. Okay, Grims, can we keep this party going? Yeah, Grims, run. Come now, you can say it. We picked up a coffee and had a look at the gorgeous blue vibes in town. I will be showing lots more of them next week together with the last sunset this year. These upcoming two weeks are the ones with the most noticeable changes and the most incredible displays of color. Pink and blue skies almost daily and a very early twilight leading up to the darkness. When we got home, the day was almost fully dark, even though it was only around 5 p.m. Grim was in dire need of a nap from all the excitement. So while we had dinner, he slept cozied up in the rug in the living room, his favorite place. At around 6 p.m., Christopher fed him his dinner, which today consisted of uh, his regular food, as well as some meat. After dinner, he had asked to go outside and then proceeded to ask to come inside literally two minutes later. It didn't take long for Grim to want to come inside, which was just in time for bed. I hope you've enjoyed spending an entire day with the gorgeous Finnish lapun that is Grim. 
Stay tuned for next week's video, which will be welcoming the Polar Knight for real, which is so freaking exciting. Don't forget to subscribe to get notifications on when I post. If you can't wait until next week and want more content right away, head to my Patreon where there is lots of exclusive videos. And don't forget to check out our recipe guide if you haven't already. Thank you so, so much for being here and I will see you next week. Okay, bye.